Alright, real quiet, guys. On a back lot in the heart of Hollywood, Gene Wilder pursues his passion, making movies. This film, The Woman in Red, marks his fourth time as actor, writer, and director. It's a filmmaking style all his own, more subtle than his mentor, Mel Brooks, but of course the goal is the same, laughter. We've just fairly abducted you from your editing room over there, brought you over here. I want to ask you about your movie. Tell us about it. The abduction? <laughs> sure, you can tell us about that if you like. <laughs> well, a pleasant experience for you. When that now. naked lady walked in <laughs> and said you wanted to see me. You followed. Um, what do you want to know about it? What was it about this project that appealed to you? I fall for the most beautiful woman in the world. And I want to sleep with her. And Gilda Radner thinks that it's her I want to sleep with. And I keep pursuing the first woman, and I keep getting Gilda. Wilder conducted an extensive search before selecting fashion model Kelly LeBrock for the title role. In chasing this woman in red, Wilder's character and stunt double find themselves in some odd locales. The actor himself prefers to keep his feet closer to the ground. Directing oneself isn't easy. For example, how do you know if you're giving a good performance? Wilder uses a videotape playback unit so he can monitor every take. I see myself right after, and if it makes me laugh, I say, let's go on. If it doesn't, I say, let's do another one. Surprisingly, the off-camera Wilder isn't the frantic funny man we know from Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, or Silver Streak. He's calm, reserved, and his film sets reflect his quiet manner. The whole place is a, is a calm place. People are, they want things to go well, and there's a wonderful spirit and pleasantness around him in general and on his movie set that makes it uh, easier to perform. In my real life, and sitting here talking to a human being, I just want to talk as a person. Mm -hmm. And not feel that the only way you're going to like me, or you're going to like me, would be if I slip on a banana peel, or make a funny sound, or things like that. Where does the comedy come from, that funny man? Uh, for me, I think for most funny people, um, we were all misfits at a critical stage in our childhood and couldn't gain the respect and the attention and the affection that all of our friends seemed to be able to get through other means and then we do something funny, and someone laughs. So you say, if it worked once, I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. And you start doing accents, or funny movements, or talking with a high voice, and pretty soon a comedian or comic actor is born. It's been said that when you strip the tinsel off Tinseltown, you find more tinsel. That doesn't sit well with Wilder. As I change inside, maybe I'll quit everything. I hate show business, you know. I hate it. But I love movies. I love film. I think more than anything apart from human beings that I can think of. In the pursuit of creating fine films, he has fashioned his own style. On screen, wild. Off screen, gentle. And always with a deep respect for his art. If you abuse it, it's a self-indulgence. If you don't abuse it, it's called art. So that satisfaction is hard to get from earthly things, it's heavenly things. Mm -hmm. if, if there were a god, if she does exist, if there were a heaven, then the best moments of directing what you've written, that's what I would hope for from heaven. But I don't hold 
too many hopes for that. <laughs> so I'll go on directing. <laughs>